I'm not up for adoption. Yes, you are. <laughs> we are here with Mike Tyson, who just offered to adopt me. Oh, no. <laughs> We've seen fictional versions of Mike Tyson before, like in The Hangover. What, what's this version of Mike Tyson? Well, this is just what it is. Mike Tyson solved the mysteries. Um, you need a mystery solved, you send a pigeon to my coop, I go in that coop, I get that message, and I go about solving that mystery. We are with Oscar winner Jim Rash of Community and Inside the Writer's Room, and obviously you're an Oscar winning writer. But today we're here for Mike Tyson Mysteries, yes. which is... I don't know a ton about this show, mm -hmm. besides well, that the, it's, we've got the, the Scooby-Doo camp element. And yes, it does. It is, uh, yeah, it's a little homage to those 80s cartoons, you know, with uh, Mr. T and, and uh, Scooby-Doo, like you said, and uh, with the whole mystery van and everything. Yeah, it's Mike Tyson, you know, going into the next chapter for his life, which is to help people. And, uh, and so we, along with a ghost, which is who I play, Marcus, or the the Marquis of Queensberry, but uh, I get called Marcus by him and it just sticks because he uh, doesn't know Marquis. Why haven't you been sleeping well? Is it because you're a ghost and you can see through your eyelids? No, you know, I just find I can't turn my brain off at the end of the day, you know? I just, I lie there worrying about the dumbest things. It's ridiculous and the next day I'm tired and a bitch to everyone around me and uh, He makes fun of his own voice, you know, but uh, he sounds adorable in our show, you know? And in our show, he's not the rough, tough killing machine, unless he has to. Um, but he's really just like a loving father and a mystery solver, and that comes across in his voice because he has such a sweet voice, I think. Does that come out, like the Iron Mike side? Oh, you'll see. I mean, every once in a while, people need to be killed and dealt with, and Mike will handle that. It's the chupacabra. He, he beat me with his mouth. Oh. Michael, why are you smiling? Because now I know what I have to do. I'm going to use my fist to beat the out of Chippecama, the only thing I've never beaten the shit out of yet. What made you want to trade in your, your life in the public eye to be a private eye? Hey, listen, um, this is good stuff, man. It's something I've never done before, and then I just want to be the, be the best I can be and try everything. Yeah. You know, is that like your philosophy in all things? Absolutely. You know, never, um, I never trip when somebody closes a door on me because I know there's always the next one open. If I don't have a chance of making a fool out of myself or really humiliate myself, I wouldn't do it because that, and only that reason that makes me rise to my highest occasion, you know, my highest potential and I'll do well. But if I don't have a ch uh, if I don't risk a chance of humiliating myself, I won't do it. It's that easy. It has to be hard. It has to be hard. Every one of them has a message from someone that needs the help solving the mystery. Oh man, oh man, it's so dark. I can't see my hand in front of my face. Oh shit. And Mike wanted to be in one of those kind of cartoons, and Warner Brothers does do that Hanna-Barbera stuff perfectly. So he's, he, it's a good fit to see him looking like one of those old Hanna-Barbera characters. You did this motion, do they, does yeah. he run like that? Well, no, it's funny, like, uh, when I first saw it, yeah, there was a lot of, like, characters running and I jumping. Hear that, like, crazy sound effect in the background? No, I hate all the sound effects. Um, <laughs> I try to make it, uh, my belief is the show should be as real as possible so that it looks like that and the, the opening title sequence is evocative of those kinds of shows. The show itself is more grounded and real and hopefully that will make things like the pigeon and the ghost seem even funnier, not just seem like a crazy plot and they got to fight a werewolf or things like that. Oh, what? Did you fight a werewolf in one, I'll tell you that. Very proud of it though. Oh yeah, Very this, proud of this it. is your bag, isn't it? Mappy, kind of. Yeah, this is, this is, I'm really in Geeksville right now. Yeah, this is my really inner good. geek and I'm pretty cool. Doing it. 